So I have a theory on lucid dreaming and why it can be so challenging for beginners in the beginning uh, to lucid dream. I know some people can uh, have natural ability and can lucid dream or have been able to lucid dream since they're young. But people that are trying to get into it that haven't been able to do this um, may be disheartened in the beginning because they try and try for weeks, maybe months and nothing happens. So the theory I have about why this might happen is that um, I think when we're doing things like reality checks uh, during the day to find, to see if we're dreaming or not, and then they don't happen at night, they, this sort of you know happens quite a bit, it's because I think we need to form habits and habits take a long time to form in our mind before they become sort of second nature and natural. And come out of us and I also think from my experience that habits in dreams kind of lag behind even more than in sort of real life so in my experience when dreaming I often dream about quite often dream about things from my childhood um, things that seem embedded deeply into my subconscious into my mind and they come up all the time I dream about my hometown but I also dream about the more current things but I find, you know, that, that, that that's kind of the dream theme that's there. But if you've ever met someone new or something's been introduced to your life, I've always found that these things don't, um, they don't appear in your dream often or not clearly or not for a long time. But if you've known someone or you get to know them or you, something, changes in your life and it's changed for a while, you know, you've got a new job, after some time, uh, this will start to um, appear in your dreams more frequently, but, the, but it can take some time, like, you know, months or even like years in some cases. So when you reality check, I think it's very similar. It, it takes a while for this um, habit to form in your dream. So when it's not happening in the first month or so for some people you can get disheartened and you're like I can't do this but I think the more if you just continue it you know don't put too much pressure on yourself just continue to do it eventually this habit will form and it will just start to happen more naturally so when I first started learning uh, lucid dreaming I was it took me a while in the beginning but I was very determined so I kept at it and I found it just progressively grew and I guess the habit formed and I just started realizing I was dreaming from the weirdest things not really even from reality checks it was just like just things you wouldn't expect but um strangely after you know lucid dream for a long time I actually got what I call lucid dream fatigue and I don't know why I, this happened but I was lucid dreaming quite often maybe four or five times a week and you know a few times a night sometimes and I just, I actually got fatigued of it. I wanted to just strangely have a normal sleep. Didn't want to be aware and be lucid in my dream all the time. So I actually stopped lucid dreaming. I kind of regret that now. I'm trying to get back into it and get good at it again. So anyway, so um, if you're just starting out, I think, you know, it's good just to stick at it. You know, don't be too disheartened if you don't uh, lucid dream straight away or it takes a while because I think that habit is forming slowly and you and once it becomes sort of second nature in your mind it'll just start to manifest itself in your dreams and you'll become lucid more often